This weather report brought to you by Amart. Discover great deals on furniture to transform your home. Amart. Lifestyle. The front line of the fight to stop the hackers and scammers. Go inside the Sydney College where it's all happening on 7 News, 6 o'clock. Tonight's 7 News headlines, power has been restored to homes across Sydney, but we're being warned more trees and power lines could come down as strong winds continue. The Australian killed in a shark attack in New Caledonia has been named as Sydney man Chris Davis. Latrell Mitchell and Jack Whiten will return to court after the NRL season. They've pleaded not guilty to fight charges. And the Prime Minister has reaffirmed his promise not to make major changes to superannuation. Now, here's Amber with Sydney's weather. Thank you, Mark. Well, the unsettled conditions should continue easing across Sydney over the next few days, with mostly sunny skies and warmer temperatures to return by the weekend. Our top of 22 degrees in the city today was 6 degrees cooler than the February average. Right now it is 21, although it feels closer to 17 in a moderate south to southeasterly breeze. Those showers last night were generated by a southerly buster tracking up the New South Wales coast, bringing heavy falls further north today. 148 millimetres has been recorded at Lake Macquarie since 9am. This associated trough will continue tracking north towards the mid-north and far north coast tonight and during tomorrow, bringing cooler, and cooler temperatures and some showers to those districts. The rest of this week, though, we should see hot and dry conditions extending from the far west to large parts of the state as a high pressure system moves over the southern Tasman Sea. But taking a look around the capitals now, 29 degrees, a shower or two expected in Brisbane, 24 the top under partly cloudy skies in Canberra, 23 with sunshine on the way from Melbourne. Heatwave conditions are expected to persist across parts of South Australia tomorrow though with 41 degrees, the forecast top in Adelaide. Statewide tomorrow, generally clear skies for most parts with cloud cover increasing towards the coast. A cool start on the way for the central tablelands and you can see those showers further north. Parts of the northern rivers are expecting up to 25 millimetres tomorrow. But across Sydney, under partly cloudy skies, temperatures should hover in the low to mid 20s. 25 is the top for most of the west and also at the airport. On the water tomorrow, southeasterly winds should run at up to 20 knots early before turning easterly during the evening. But back in the city, there is a chance we'll see a light shower. It'll only be a drizzle, though, if that eventuates. Partly cloudy skies expected on the way to 25 degrees, 25 also the top across the west. It looks as though we'll see mostly sunny skies return in time for the weekend, with temperatures to reach 33 degrees in the western suburbs come Sunday. 30 degrees in the city come Tuesday, but looking pretty good this week, Mark, particularly if you've got any celebrations planned. Wishing you a very happy birthday. Good on you, Amber. Thank you. That is 7 News for this Wednesday. We'll have updates for you throughout the evening. I'm Mark Ferguson from all the team. I hope you have a great night. Stream 7 News anywhere, anytime, live and on demand on 7 Plus. And with 7news.com.au, you'll know the news now.